concludes our presentations from what I can determine. Is that right? That is correct. Oh, Amy? Oh, thank you very much, all of you, for sitting here all day. I, I can't imagine about a lot of things. I can't imagine how many of you are here. Thank you all for coming. Mr. Chairman? I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to make a motion. I'd like to leave you with one piece of housekeeping that I think will make your life much better. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I, I think we made some changes uh, a couple years ago to the way fulfillment was awarded. And um, one of the things we tried to do was to really clean up, I think, this uh, phone bills and 800 lines and just a whole bunch of garbage that was thrown into this fulfillment account that required an awful lot of documentation as well as I think in some of the smaller communities we felt that there might be some dollars that could be used to help with the administering of the grants. And um, what happened was the first year that, uh, or the only year I guess that I was chairman, I had to appoint a special master, Tad, if you remember, to uh, help with special the, agent. Special <laughs> agent, to help with the calculation of those grants. And so uh, in, uh, in, I guess, uh, section, I don't know, point oh eight or something of our uh, rules, it talks about eligible projects. It's on page um, eight in the grant handbook. The one that's marked up? Or I think they're both the same. I think one just takes, oh yeah, it's a non-marked one. Yeah, but it's under where it says, uh, it, I guess it says 008 eligible projects. And in there, under section um, G, fulfillment, it reads currently an amount equal to 10% of the total award will be added to the grant award to cover the cost of fulfillment, which that's not totally correct. But I, I, what I'd like to do is to make a motion to clean that up by saying an amount up to 10% of the total grant award with a maximum of 25000 can be added to the grant award to cover the cost of fulfillment. So therefore what I'm doing is really just put back in the language of the $25,000 maximum, which is in there already, but saying up to 10% so we don't have to go through the calculation and get it down to the penny or get it down to the dollar, because I think that creates just a little unnecessary hardship when the awards are being made. Thank you. Discussion? Does that make sense to everybody as far as what we went through? You don't have to have 10%, you could have you could round it up, you know, 8%. Is that correct? The, the, the grant so on to both sides today. You would be awarded them out. So if they wanted only to use 8% of the money, they could use the other 2% somewhere else? No, it, no, it just has to do with your award. On the award. You know where at the very end you take and you go back and you calculate 10%. Now you're not going to need to calculate it. You know, if it's an $8,050 uh, $8, grant, you can just say I'm giving you $800 instead of trying to take and calculate it all out. You see what I'm saying? I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? What's that? Second. Brent. 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 Discussion? Go ahead. Does, where's the 25000 It's okay. it's not it's not in there, but it's in there somewhere. I'm not sure what is this the copy of what the book is or what it would change to? That is both right now. Okay, well then we just left off the twenty five thousand max because that that's our right. that's already yeah. in there. Yeah, that's a well, current. That's a yeah, it's current. Not on here, it's not on here, but it's current. Since I'm on the chair of that thing was redoing this thing, I'd like to know exactly where it is. It's out of, it's in some minutes from another meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it needs to come on, Francis, you got it. We do have a research committee. Go to the audit. I know that I don't have I know. I know it's in there, but yeah. maybe you can make your motion. No, I put it in there. Yeah. I didn't put it in there.
I did put it in there. Okay. Do you want to read that again? So do you have it? Uh, do you have it down? Bill, would you make sure this an is an amount up to ten percent, but no more than twenty-five thousand dollars may be added. Well, I, I just said an amount up to ten percent of the total grant award, okay. with a maximum of twenty-five thousand, can be added to the grant award to cover the cost of fulfillment. Can be part of the grant award. Can be added to. Can can be part of the grant award. It's really, we're just adding one more two, <laughs> but we got the twenty-five thousand in there. JJ, anything? Is your open there? I think that's your open. Read it back one more time. Read it one more time. Okay, I'm very good. An amount of up to ten percent of the total grant award, but with with. A maximum. Oh, okay. With a maximum of twenty-five thousand dollars, and first it was made. Can, now it's can can be added to the grant award. Can be or not added. Can be included, included, included in the grant award to cover the cost of fulfillment. Comma excluding any amount awarded for an audit. Right. Okay. Very good. That's a good question. Okay. Uh -huh. This so, says now that it will be added. Yeah. yeah. It's right. It's fulfillment is added. It's an automatic. So they need to ask for it now. So what you're saying, they're asking here. for it now anyway. Yeah, we're asking for huge changes. No, they're not. So. We're, not we're not asking for it. No, no it's automatic. It's automatic. Yeah. Right. Right. So we don't, we don't I thought you were talking about we're asking for the rule changes. Um, yeah, so they're going to have to put it in their grants like they used to. Yeah. With the final grant that's due to the last Right. Did they know that? Well, that's what we're telling them. Well, it has to pass first. So what you're saying is up to now. They have not had to request it. It has just been added as right. part of the grant that's been right. submitted. That's right. Right. Okay. That's correct. But in an effort to make sure that we get it, so what we're trying to do, what, what Bill's trying to do, is to alleviate the pennies that we had trouble with. Because as it says here, it says it has to be 10%. So it, now we'll probably have to be, uh, do, we have to do we have to resubmit them? Or can we just say that it is? All we're talking about is trying to get rid of the 48 cents. Right. I mean, that's all we're trying to do. Is throw us all nuts for two days. And, and, and balancing it backwards. Remember they were trying to do, oh, they were yeah. trying to divide out the ratios oh, and I things. Know. I think it, it'll just simplify. So, no, they don't have to submit it. No, you guys could do the math for them. Yeah. We will do the 10 percent. We will do up to 10 percent. Okay. We don't have to so you just want to round it to the nearest $5. It, right. But it Something will be like added yeah. to what they turn in. That's right. Like it has been. And Mr. Okay. Chad, one yeah, of the discussions that had come up is there might be a grant request that is for billboards that wouldn't need a fulfillment request. So that gives you the freedom to, depending on the type of, of grant request, oh, yeah. why give them 10% so exactly additional. Exactly right. So you can duck that out. Yeah. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is everybody kind of clear on the intent as well as the letter that we down. Okay, all in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion carries. Now, do we need to, is that effective immediately? I mean, is that going to change? I guess it doesn't change too much in terms of people that have already submitted the No. No. Uh, with the uh, council of the subcommittee, we'll be fine to combing this and uh, at the prior to the grant awards you will be approving these rules and the guidelines that go with them and then you will be awarding the grants in July. Okay. 